Hey, welcome back to Fat Bike Hunter. Uh, I just wanted to catch you up on a, um, a fitness program that I'm starting to use and um, to give you a little inf more, more information about why I'm using this program. About two years ago, um, I started getting ex a lot of stiffness in the right side of my body, mostly my quads and my calf. And um, it always felt like I had just got back from a huge bike ride or a run and I just couldn't stretch it out. It was always tight um, and I, I couldn't figure out why. And then um, I, I started getting some hand tremors, you know, uh, little, uh, movements of my hand. And I thought, well, I'll go to the doctor. So um, it was about two years ago that I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. <laughs> Now, Parkinson's disease is a chronic and um, progressive disease. So um, I will have more, or people that have Parkinson's will have more, um, more and more severe symptoms as they age. Um, they, it, Parkinson's affects the motor systems. So it um, gives you tremors, it gives you stiffness, um, rigidity of the muscles. Um, but it starts off as just affecting one side of the body. The awesome thing for me is um, I didn't really need to change my lifestyle at all. Um, there's a lot of research about biking <clears throat> and hiking and how that helps with the um, Parkinson's disease symptoms. It kind of slows it down, kind of gives them re the people relief um, from the tremors. And um, the big thing is, is forced exercise. And so, so if you go out for a bike ride or a hike, and you go pretty you know, low key, you're keeping your heart rate down, you're not really exercising as hard as you possibly could, maybe your maximum, um, it's okay for a Parkinson's uh, patient to do that. But um, they've found a lot more research on if you really reach that um, forced exercise, that high intensity. So I like to go out um, and ride or run or hike really, really hard, especially in the, um, off season when I'm not hunting and um, get way above my normal heart rate. Um, I like to go on bike rides with my friends that are a lot faster than me so I can uh, really get my heart rate up. But um, unfortunately, like the rest of you, COVID has kind of hit pretty hard. So um, I haven't been able to go and ride with my friends as much as possible as I wanted to. Um, I was taking spin classes awesome, awesome program, um, keeps you at a high intensity intervals, but unfortunately COVID shut that down also. Um, and so I started doing a lot of research on um, how I could possibly do this and not have to buy a program, an exercise program for at home. Um, the nice thing is hunting, especially for me, helps with depression. I don't suffer from depression, but that is one of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. And um, I definitely, when I'm up in the mountains, uh, either hiking or even sitting against a tree, um, I definitely feel relaxed. That's my happy place. Um, one of the challenges with uh, me getting Parkinson's and a lot of uh, other patients that hunt is um, Using a rifle isn't a problem. Using a muzzleloader isn't a problem. It's the archery. And um, I have harvested really nice bulls with modern and with muzzleloader. And so my challenge to me as a hunter is to harvest a really nice big bull elk with um, uh, archery equipment. So um, as I draw back, my tremor hand is my release hand, um, which I'm still um, trying to figure out if that's better or worse than if it was my lead hand. Um, but I, it just means I need to practice a lot more and maybe not take shots uh, over 30 yards if possible. Um, so on the weekends, um, I'm active. I snowboard uh, and snowshoe and that kind of stuff. And I try to walk daily with my wife. Um, we have some steep paved hills around our house. So um, that helps. 
But um, I have found a wonderful program by um, Mountain Ops uh, called Elk Fit, and it's 100% free, which is really great. I actually printed it out, printed it out onto a binder and put it in a binder um, so that it, it, um, I can follow along. So the Elk Fit program is a 12, 12 week program and it has three phases. And um, you can do it from home or from a gym. And you're gonna go 45 to 60 minutes per day. That includes about 20 minutes of cardio. And um, you'd only do it three days a week. You repeat it. With, I'm, um, I'm gonna repeat it after this first three months. I'm gonna do another three months, just the same, same exercises, but with a weight to um, kind of add add some resistance, add some weight um, training to it. Um, while I do those exercises, um, I also use some of the Mountain Ops um, supplements, and these are the ones that I want to share with you because I um, have had really great success. I've actually got dropped 20 pounds. Um, I have built a lot more lean muscle and uh, I, that was basically just from using their products and exercising like running and hiking and stuff. Now that I've got an exercise program um, and then they're going to be adding weights, uh, I'll be building a lot more lean muscle for sure. So the first one is um, the Mountain Ops Magnum. They, uh, it has 23 grams of protein and um, branched chain amino acids that help you recover and build lean muscle. And I've used other protein powders. This, this protein powder that Mountain Ops has mixes super well. You don't get the chunks and they have so many great flavors. I prefer the uh, berries and cream. It's kind of like a strawberry milkshake. Um, another one of their products that I like are the um, protein bars. 20 grams of protein. These things are baked. They're basically like um, Eating, eating a really delicious cookie, uh, brownie. Um, they are not your, your dry, mealy um, protein bar. These things are like amazing, okay? And those come in like peanut butter bliss, conquer caramel crunch, and chocolate brownie. Now, when I wake up in the morning, I love my coffee, and there's nothing wrong with that. But with the, with the tremors, um, it almost gets me uh, really shaking a little bit even more. And um, so I've switched over to um, the Mountain Ops Ignite. Uh, the Mountain Ops Ignite has amino acids and um, caffeine, but no crash, no crash like I got from coffee. Um, it actually sustains up to 20 hours. So uh, what I like to do, especially with hunting, is um, I take the trail packs, they're just little um, packages that you can throw into an algae. And, oops, and those uh, trail packs, I, I eat one of those or drink one of those um, when I'm getting ready to maybe sit for the uh, early afternoon, right after lunch, um, so that uh, I don't fall asleep against a tree and have the uh, awesome animal that I want to harvest walk by me. Okay, so they do make trail trail packs as well as I use this at home in the morning. Um, they do make a heated version, but I heat I heat my regular ignite as well, so um, I'm not really sure what the difference is. But anyway, um, I just wanted to fill you in with uh, some of the developments with me. Um, I want to ask that you, uh, if you know anybody with Parkinson's, if you have Parkinson's disease. Um, and if you do know somebody that, that hunts um, and has Parkinson's, please have them uh, contact me. All my contact information is on the YouTube channel. can also be found on Fat Bike Hunter Facebook group. Um, also on Instagram at Fat Bike Hunter 509. And I just, I just ask that you um, give them support. Um, I've even got my, my kids involved. They tell me when I have tremors and dad, did you take your medicine? So um, you got to get the family involved as well for support. But anyway, um, I just want to thank you for your support. Um, remind you that we are, I have um, brand new merchandise, got hoodies, t-shirts, hats, and even patches that you can sew onto your own clothes. Um, but anyway, um, 
I just want to I just want to thank you for the support and uh, ask that you um, give people around you support uh, if they have Parkinson's as well. All right. Take care, guys.